This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from the beach in downtown Lake Geneva in the fall, which you can tell in the distance if you look at the trees. The wind is blowing, the grass is still growing, and the sun is not shining. It is fall. There's a forecast of snow in the distance out there in the near future. Don't blame that on us, although uh, we take it personally. <laughs> We're that egomaniacal. Anyway, we are here with our birds, which are right over there. They're very happy now that they've been had their snack for the day. And we are here on... It is Thursday morning, October 15, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto. Jen Lepkow. And George Belushi, Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we are here for the Thursday morning news report. And in the news, well, a crisp, cool fall day. Yes. And I do have to mention the farmer's market is going on right now in front of Horticultural Hall and they have extended the farmer market season. There will be one extra farmer's market this season. So today, next week, Thursday, October 22nd and the, the following Thursday, October 29th. So they're adding an extra day to the market. So get out there and take advantage of it um, before they're gone until next year. It's a great market. Lake Geneva has the best market around, I yes, think. Yes, they do. And so, one of the biggest, too. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of fun national days today, we though. We do. Okay, it's National Cheese Curd Day. Mm, That's yum. always a good one. I know my kid's favorite. National I Love Lucy Day. I know. I love oh, that friends of the friendless. We got to get a drum. <laughs> National Grouch Day. Yes, it is. Oh, how appropriate. We're not participating it's Sesame Street. It's Sesame Street. Sesame oh, Street themed. And I believe it started in like 1976. So it's been going on a long time. And Oscar the Grouch was a great character. Yeah. I really loved him. He was like the nicest grouch <laughs> around, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, other than that, we have a lot of things going on here at the lake. I know there's um, a lot of controversy and confusion regarding the Riviera first floor and the renovations and the tenants. So right now, um, what we do know is that the, the tenants have to have everything removed by November 15th so that they can have um, contractors come in and do walkthroughs and place bids regarding um, different areas of construction that need to be done in the first floor renovation um, project. So. Um, we have that going on right now. Not sure what's going to happen with the leases or which tenants will be coming back next year, but we will keep you posted on all that. And there will be an RFP placed so that um, bids can be made regarding the pier insulation here in Lake Geneva. And oh, they, right. yeah, yeah. They, they've done this in the past and they've only received one bid every time they've done it. So it's been a few years. They're going to try it again and maybe um, get a better price regarding that and we've heard from the merchants from our last issue yesterday's issue which we said that their rates that they pay for the concessions are very low compared to outside we should have stated that they're low when you factor in the fact that their their uh, utilities are paid for uh, some of the small stores pay eight hundred dollars a month and the utility bill would be nine hundred oh. uh, so that's why there's a money losing proposition there but others like the the Silver Place, uh, their utilities are very low, so their rent is very high. The average rent, retail rent in Lake Geneva is around uh, uh, $30 per square foot for a year. In the uh, Riviera, they're actually $42 per square foot per year, so they're not low unless you factor in some other things, which we're gonna look deeper into that so we can get a better understanding for those surviving uh, concessionaires because there will only be room for six of them right. yep. in the new structure and there were how many uh, before eight? eight yeah so that means two will be leaving we don't know which two yet but it is an issue yes, it is. yes. okay um, other than that Do we have any meetings well, not tonight no but the library has a book sale starting today at noon children's picture books 50 cents that oh. is such a great deal and so I recommend going to check that out. I need to stop there. Oh, trick-or-treating events have yes, started. Yes, they so have. So Saturday, October 18th, over in Elkhorn yep. um, at Babe Man Park, they're going to be doing a trunk or treat. And then the following weekend on the 24th, more trick-or-treating events begin. And there is a lot What's of What's a trunk or treat? Yes, you either give us a treat or we put you in our trunk. <laughs> 
The truck, okay. So, so there's it's a, very cool. Yeah, there's cars all lined up and they're decorated kind of like, you know, spooky or Halloween or just cute Halloween. Yep. And they open their trunk and that's where their buckets of candy are. So you go to each trunk and, you and get your candy. candy. Okay. So, or your treat. Yeah. Candy. Where's the adventure in that? I don't know. I know, this is COVID times. They've been doing that for years. Yeah. And so. it's great for the real, the little, little ones. Right. Yeah. And Elkhorn incorporated a new one yes. just because of COVID and the pandemic. It is a six foot trick or treat. It's in Sunset Park. Yep. So it's like you, everything's social distanced. Like, yes. But they're still having their regular treats. So they throw the treats at you? I don't know what they do. I think some of them have two. They hold your bag out like down. a basketball like game. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes, so. Okay. Okay. Other than that, we will keep you posted on the dates and times of all the trick or treating. Um, but we're going to get on with our day. We'll be back later with more weather, road, and news reports. I'm Lisa Otto, Jen Lepkowski, and George Bushy Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye bye. bye.